you're watching for the start of the next game. Orcas juegas, juegan ya. Estamos the esperando. Ya, ya empezó el partido. A ver. And perdona, here we go into the game, and we have uh, the Orcas in uh, blue and Helvetia from Switzerland in white. We're in the middle of the pool, and uh, who is in ball possession? There's well, a cluster it's going it's up to the right surface. Now. Yeah, it's undecisive. Uh, there's a cluster going into the surface above uh, near the uh, Swiss basket. And the uh, Swiss player was uh, successful in getting free, but is stopped in the middle of the pool on the surface again, and then another cluster. Yeah, important is this is the group G, which is Amaga, Orcas, Makos, and Elvetia. And Orcas played earlier today against Amaga, and they won 3-0. Okay. Amaga um, just won against Makos, mm. and Makos lost against Alvetia. So I'm just we already had a lot of games of this group. So right now um, we have to see, you know, they're playing for the first position in the group. These girls. And uh, Alvetia does a good job here in keeping hold on to the ball and stopping uh, the attacks of the Orcas. The Orcas are not that free uh, right in the moment. Uh, with they cannot play their game as much as they would love to. I guess uh, the uh, Swiss team is plucking them very, um, very effective in the, the half of the Colombians. And we haven't reached uh, the uh, Swiss basket yet. And there is a lot of tackling there, a lot of clinging to each other up to the surface. If there is no station they can play to. And uh, it's two minutes into the first half. One second, people is asking in the chat. Uh, Manuela González is number two, and Manuela Torres is the 26. Call from the deck referee, Rafael Tito de Moraes. Uh, we cannot see what it is. It's a free throw against uh, the Yorkas from Colombia. Yeah, I mean, I'm surprised we are a lot um, here uh, on the. Orca side, yeah. Oh. I mean, the Swiss, the Swiss team hasn't been participating in Champions Cup since a few the female team since a few years now. So I didn't know what to expect. Um, so we see we have hundred people viewing, and we have now a counter attack from the Colombian team. And uh, they're now changing the side, coming over the close corner. The defender is in position of the Swiss. Now we have still the ball <coughs> trying to be playing around, but there was no player to pass it. And uh, now they're going up in the corner. I mean, good job from the Swiss team defending. It's it's not an easy game uh, in these first minutes for uh, the Orcas. I would have thought they uh, dominate more than they do right now. They yeah. seem to have difficult to find their rhythm against uh, a very uh, um, a very persistent uh, Swiss team. And but here is the first attack chance uh, change of the goalies. But uh, was the ball was tackled away to the surface, and the two Orca players seem don't to come communicate who that wants to do the goal. That was a pity because that could have been a great opportunity. It was two against one and uh, the one failed with the ball into attack or he was trying to give it pass to the other one and the other one didn't see that coming. So it was a pity because it was a good opportunity to score right now. And uh, again we're in the we're in the middle of uh, uh, the pool. The orcas tried to to swim uh, there uh, around around uh, the basket pattern back and forth to open up uh, gaps in the defense but the Swiss the forechecking of the Swiss is quite heavy and very well established so they interfere with the with the movements of the Orcas and block them and uh, as soon as they get a chance they uh, get hold of them. oh this is a chance now the goalkeeper was uh, going away from the basket but the Orca player didn't have much time and she lost uh, her mask but still the ball is was in uh, orca possession but now the swiss regained it stopped by the uh, orca for checking defense for checking but uh, compliments to the to the swiss yep. uh, great, capabilities great, yep. i'm i'm also surprised because um, you know uh, colombia won 
The second place in the World Championship, even though it was not just Yorka, there were, there were um, players also from, from other teams, like Azores and some others. So, but we have many of them, or some of the pl players of Graz here. Nevertheless, um, yeah, this, they have also some new, uh, pl new girls playing. So let's see if they can uh, maybe have more. Uh, it's like they don't, the dynamic is not, they're not flowing. There's yes. people failing in, in, in being but there. I, but to I think get it's the because pass. of the, the Swiss, um, because of the interference of the Swiss. No, not really. Right now, there was a few times you have the, the one in possession of the ball, there was no one to really pass it. Okay. And of course, the Swiss took advantage and maybe attack with two or three. Um, estamos viendo que las chicas de Colombia están teniendo problemas para eh, atacar al, al equipo suizo como que a veces está faltando la jugadora para poder seguir con la jugada están a veces se dejan como muy solas y las chicas de Suiza realmente están pudiendo entonces bloquear la jugadora queda sola con dos con tres normalmente estoy acostumbrada que eh, siempre hay uno o dos bajo el agua para poder hacer eh, la presión y generar la, la ola para, para, para provocar la falta y hacer el gol, ¿no? Realmente hubiera pensado que ya este, en este momento del partido hubieran tenido uno o dos goles, así que vamos a ver si pueden mm, jugar ¡Oh! ¡Gol! 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 No, no gol, no gol, ok, no gol ¿Por qué? There was no gol Something happened I don't know if she grabbed the basket It looked like a little bit, but it also looked like the goal, it was quite mm, stable <laughs> on the goal So it's a um, it's a very good game. We see here both teams are um, trying to find uh, their they find their patterns, and uh, I'm very impressed by the performance here of uh, the Swiss team, who are uh, I think I have to contradict here, Lorena. It's 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 a lot of the game uh, of the Swiss that is interfering with the game of. The yes, orcas. they are, of course, I'm not saying they are not doing it, uh, of course, but every now and then you also have the mistakes, and now we have one of the Orca players just stole the basket, let's see if the ball can get to her before she's running out of air, now she's being replaced by the next player, and the goalie of, of, of the an Swiss another team, Orca player. Yeah. Uh, but, you know, it takes too long, and now the Swiss team, something happened. She was out of uh, the playing area, so it should be a free throw. Ah, it was uh, out for against uh, the Orcas. And we have a fast counter attack. It's a one-on-one -on -one chance, but uh, the player didn't succeed. I think it was Lido Diaz. Uh, she didn't succeed to push uh, into the goalkeeper. She pushed uh, uh, away from it. So she had no effect on the goalkeeper lying on the basket. So she was in a very good position back on the surface and we have uh, less than two minutes left in the first half here of the Orcas from Colombia in blue against Helvetia from Switzerland in white. And it's still a 0-0. Zero zero. Um, el primer partido de Orcas femenino quedó 3-0 para Orcas. No, I'm surprised because the, this team, uh, I mean the Orcas won already against Amaga. Si. And Amaga had Oh, mm, goal. It no, is. no, is it goal or is it not again? Yes. No goal? Okay, yes, goal. Goal for Orcas. Finalmente han logrado hacer un gol, pero casi al final del primer tiempo. Y jugaron 3 a 0 contra Dinamarca hoy más temprano. Así que la verdad eh, es como si las suizas fueran, también estuvieran más fuertes. Normalmente lo que conozco de las chicas suizas que estuvieron varios años sin venir fue que era un equipo un poco más débil, o sea, normalmente. Pero bueno. Hace varios años que no vienen, están entrenando y jugando en la Tri Nations League. Y entonces, bueno, se han eh, reestructurado y han crecido como equipo. O sea que la verdad está, es interesante ver el, el juego que están haciendo. I mean, think it's interesting to see uh, the, the game the Swiss girls are doing because the last time they came, they had a completely different quality of game, the Swiss uh, women. And probably the participation of the Tri Nations League has helped them to grow. And now yeah. uh, it's really uh, great to see. I'm just surprised because I expected since uh, Orcas won against Amagard, I thought maybe um, they might be stronger than the Swiss team. That it was just an assumption I did. Yeah, I would have thought the same. Uh, but now uh, it looks like um, 
the Orcas are getting in the rhythm. That was a nice, even if it was a dangerous long pass over the head of the um, defender right in front of the basket. But now again, an Orca player stole the basket and <laughs> the other one played it above her head, which is always dangerous because then it can be snatched away like it happened. In this case, she should have tried to go for the basket herself. So um, her teammate would have made the room in the gap she could have used to place the ball into the basket. We're on the surface now. Uh, so a lot of clusters in uh, this game. Eight, seven, six seconds left in the first half. Could could you see who scored the no. goal in Orca? And oh, end of the first uh, half. Here with your goal. Bina said before that if we want to talk in different uh, languages, we can put you in a channel and me in another channel. I want to be in your channel. <laughs> you Please, are. Can, can I be in your channel? <laughs> yes, you can okay, be which, language, which language? Which uh, language? Well. Uh, let's concentrate on the game. Oh, well, we have two and a half minutes now uh, pause uh, in the halftime. And uh, you can say something in Deutsch and for the Schweizer, because I have something in Spanish to say. I can also say something in Schweizerdeutsch. Um, ja, ähm, liebe Grüße zu allen, die an, äh, in, aus der Schweiz gerade zuschauen äh, und äh, zumindest Schweizerdeutsch äh, sprechen. Ähm, äh, schön, dass ihr hier bei uns im äh, Chat seid. Äh, lasst euch mal, lasst mal was von euch lesen im Livestream-Chat. Äh, guckt jemand aus der Schweiz zu. Ähm, die Performance hier von den Schweizer Mädels ist ähm, sehr beeindruckend. Um, ich bin erstaunt, wie schwer sie es den äh, Orcas von Kolumbien machen, ihr, Game, äh, ihr Spiel hier aufzubauen. Ja, ja. Ähm, und äh, das Spiel ist noch nicht entschieden. Also die äh, Schweizerinnen sind sehr, äh, machen sehr viel Widerstand und brechen immer wieder durch. Und wenn die Orcas nicht aufpassen, dann fangen sie sich vielleicht noch ein Tor jetzt in der zweiten Hälfte. Also mit dem 1-0 kann sich äh, Kolumbien hier nicht noch nicht ausruhen. Nee, definitiv nicht. Und äh, die letzte Mal, dass die Mädels von der Schweiz hier waren, war definitiv eine ganz andere Qualität vom, vom Spiel. Äh, ich glaube, es, ist, es sind schon fast vier, fünf Jahre her wahrscheinlich. Und es beeindrucken die sehr, sie gewachsen sind. Ähm, wirklich sehr, sehr schön. Das freut mich total dass da die äh, Unterwasser Rugby in der Schweiz auch äh, wächst, wächst ne? und die mit den Three Nation Leagues äh, passiert auch da was mit Spanien, mit Italien. Das ist total schön, das, das freut mich echt sehr. So, wir haben gerade hier ein Bild aus der Halle gesehen. Das ist äh, Murat äh, mit der Kamera aus meinem Heimteam und äh, Niklas, äh, der die Interviews machen will. So we switch back uh, to English. We just saw uh, around the pool uh, there was uh, Murat from my home team Sporttore Berlin with a camera and Niklas from my home team. And they will uh, probably try to do some uh, interviews. But uh, let's see how it goes. Entonces la gente en Colombia, la verdad, eh, bueno, muy bien que las chicas han hecho un gol, pero eh, Suiza está, la verdad, jugando bastante duro y Tienen que, que ver de poder rearmarse, o sea, es un juego completamente diferente al que tuvieron hoy contra las chicas de Dinamarca. Entonces no sé si es porque es el segundo juego, si quizás están cansadas, también tienen el jet lag porque llegaron el miércoles por la noche. Entonces, eh, nada, todo eso también influye en el cansancio, en cómo uno juega. Así que tienen que estar muy atentas porque si bien vienen 1 a 0, la verdad que este, en este partido no está todo dicho todavía. Eh, si no se cuidan, las chicas de Suiza pueden recuperar e incluso ganar el partido. Así que vamos a ver en este año, incluso ningún partido puede quedar eh, empatado y todos tienen que tener eh, un, un ganador. Entonces se va directamente a penalti si ya va a haber un, un empate. Ok, so we are back in the game. And uh, we could not see the start. Uh, now it's a free throw free against throw because the Because apparently the, the mask uh, or the equipment was uh, attacked. So uh, we have uh, a free throw against the Orcas. Yeah. And they recover the ball and then they are now in the counter attack. The goal is alone, but the defender made it on time. And uh, the Orcas are trying to attack on the closer side. Nevertheless, it will pull up. And um, they are a little bit now away, but still in the surface and in close proximity. And uh, we have the captain there trying to um, score, but the goalie got on time and covered the basket. And uh, 
they are fighting still here. I mean, it's, they cannot really completely uh, um, drive through, um, swim, <laughs> swim through, through. Uh, um, because the, the four checking of the Colombian team is really hard. And oh, oh, empty basket oh, and okay. throw. That, that, that was <laughs> really. <laughs> that was a risky throw. Esa fue Liliana, creo, ¿no? La de las estrellitas. Creo porque una tiene corazones, la otra tiene estrellitas. Me las confundo. ¿Quién fue? La reconocieron. <laughs> That was a really risky throw because when you stop in front of the basket and you throw it, it's always like a, a, a yeah. good chance you, you miss the basket. But, but she could have uh, um, throw a little bit and re-catch her home ball, but uh, well, she succeeded. Yeah, That's I mean, there's something they, they practice a lot. I mean, we saw also a, a goal uh, today from the mail and, and even in the uh, last year competition as well. So we're coming two against one. And I think there was mm, another, and another goal. goal. So we see a different uh, Orca team now in the oh. second half. They go no, in. No, no goal, no goal. I, it looked like, I think she grabbed the basket. Yeah, I, I also saw, the, saw it. I okay, let's see the decision of... Uh, the they already said it. They said no goal. And yes, they but, but what will be like uh, the so free throw against the Orcas? Yeah, well, yeah, but it was no okay. goal. Apparently, sí, no cobraron el gol porque se agarró de la portería, me pareció verlo. It's a timeout for Switzerland. So let us tell you something about the atmosphere. Um, apart from uh, the World Championships, we uh, we've uh, been in cards, so Lorena and me. The Champions Cup is uh, one of the tournaments where the world of underwater rugby comes together and uh, the atmosphere always is amazing. There is so much concentration and also so much uh, um, happiness between the players seeing each other one time a year because almost all of these players know each other and it's uh, only in the big events uh, you have a chance to meet and to talk and uh, it's a competition, it's a competitive atmosphere but it's also like a uh, very relaxed and friendly atmosphere around the pool and it's all about underwater rugby and about uh, the, the the game and and everything so I definitely love it and to walk around take pictures take selfies with uh, these teams and you know from uh, the EuroLeague from uh, other transmissions is amazing and always an impression back in the game here and uh, now Switzerland tries to punch through the forging defense of uh, Colombia, don't succeed, stopped again with a tackle. We're up on the surface and <laughs> the whole cluster is pushed in the direction of uh, the Swiss basket. <laughs> Let's see if someone can get free with the ball. Very confident here, the game now very, well these passes are uh, um, really dangerous but they, they managed yeah, and this is a good attack. very well done here by the great number mm -hmm. uh, no puedo ver esa fue Lilo no 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 Lilo has uh, uh, the stars on her si sí, no pude ver porque no tenía cerecitas so now we have a oh it's a 3-0 si sí, 3-0 already 3-0 para el equipo de Colombia um, uno de los goles no se cobró porque la jugadora se agarró de la portería vamos a ver um, creo que bueno o sea quedan cinco minutos y algo más de este partido y ya es un partido ganado por colombia no creo que las chicas de eso se pueden recuperar eh, y meter tres goles pero están peleando muy duro y bueno na, ahora vemos realmente el equipo de orcas um, y la forma que tienen de jugar que conocemos. Ahora están realmente jugando la táctica eh, y están en las posiciones al, al tiempo que tienen que estar y mucho mejor que los primeros minutos del partido. So, let's see. Um, they're coming now. Everyone is under the basket of the Swiss team and Colombia wants to make as many scores as possible. Um, and the Swiss team is really defending uh, very, very good. Uh, they're doing really um, a, a great job. Um, we have still uh, the possession of the ball in the blue team, and now they're coming over oh the nice. open corner. Was trying to grab the goalie, but he couldn't. He's 
swimming out with the ball, trying to be in position of the ball, and uh, Columbus is still uh, attacking. And uh, I'm surprised because you have the feeling that you have eight players of Switzerland on the water. Yeah, they, they are always on top of the the one with the ball from Colombia. So really great, great job from the really Swiss Really active, girls. really good presence uh, in the water. And uh, also you have, don't have to estimate, I was talking to Lilo Diaz um, earlier on and she told me the team is very tired, uh, still uh, fighting with the jet lag even though they arrived on Tuesday. And, and uh, they are on Wednesday. Uh, Wednesday, sorry, but uh, it must be even harder for the males, for the orcas, because they arrived yesterday evening, and so they are really deep in the jet lag. Mm. And uh, you really have to fight it off, especially with the exhaustion uh, coming in from uh, the games. And it's, it's such a long flight as well. I mean, normally they arrive at the beginning of the week, but you know, this year with Graz, it was complicated with the day, the money, and everything. So they could just come just before the competition, both teams. Free throw against uh, Helvetia. Nice, uh, nicely done with her long arm throwing the ball to her. Um, and here we go. This is a good chance. Uh, already player waiting on the open side. But uh, chance is gone. Ball up to the surface in the close corner. Still in the uh, Orca possession around in the basket. Of wow, the great pass. Yeah, but, but it was up. It should be half down. You should play I more know, now. but they are three zero. You know everything, don't you? Yes. Okay, sorry. Um, I asked you. Do you need time. to ask it really? <laughs> <laughs> so we are now under the basket. Uh, oh, above. Um, the, the we're now above, <laughs> but on the basket. Uh, You're lacking the behind Lorena faster. Yes, Colombia attacking on the side. Pull the goalie, turn around, and try to make a goal over the back. That was mm. quite a move. Now. Stole the Everyone basket from away the from the basket, exactly, except for the Colombian player and goal. Could, uh, who was the one? Quién era la que estaba um, que había robado la portería, chicos? De nuevo Lilo. Era Lilo esa. No me apareció. Bueno, ya me dirán Benjamín, sí, la hija. <laughs> A ver. And uh, two minutes. Uh, Carolina. 15, ah. Two minutes fifteen left. Me pareció, sí, 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 el, el In the second el, sí, perdón, sorry, Wolf, continue. Please, don't feel... Um, about two minutes left here in the second half and the 4-0 lead for the Orcas in blue from Colombia against Helvetia, Switzerland in white. A good game from Helvetia, they uh, can be proud of this game against a very... Uh, um, very uh, established uh, team uh, like the Colombians, but also the Colombians have some young players with them, don't you, they? Yes, they always bring a lot of the young players, so it's an amazing job what they're doing as well to bring, you know, every year come from Colombia and bring the, the, the very young girls, 16, 17 years old. And the so ball was outside experience. the playing area, and we have a free throw against uh, Switzerland. Um, there was another, the, the, the player tried again to play with the long arm, she did as she did before, but this time the ball was snatched away out of her hands. And we're on the surface in a cluster, Colombians and Swiss players waiting uh, around the cluster. Ball is dropping down, nevertheless recovered by a Colombian player, uh, going forward in the corner. Took a little bit of time for the teammates to show up, and now we see the typical uh, movement around the basket from the Colombians. They swim back and forth to force the defenders to move around the basket with them and to open up gaps uh, when which they can attack. And like we see right now Great in job. the change of the goalkeepers, but uh, very well defended by a uh, forward-checking attacker or a defender because there is no defender right now. And again, an empty basket. Wow, yes. great job. Yes. Uh, well done. Well, who was it? Could you recall? Uh, I haven't seen it. Maybe <laughs> May we see a replay? No, we don't have replay this year, apparently. So, uh, 14, 10 seconds left in the second half, and this game uh, is uh, Manuel, over. Manuel, ah, perfecto, gracias. Sorry, I, I'm sorry. I was with the... yeah. You were living in your own beauty bubble. Yes, as always. Also, you need to ask. Continue. <laughs>
So, ok, end of the game, 5-0 for Colombia, 5-0 para las chicas de Orcas, muy buen partido, muy buen partido los dos, aunque um, a las chicas de Orcas como que les costó empezar al principio, como que tardaron como primero todo el primer tiempo hasta meter el primer gol, que fue vamos, casi en el minuto final. But bueno, después se recuperaron. And they really recovered a lot because um, the first goal was in almost in the last minute of the first half, and then four goals they, the, the Colombian girls uh, in the second half. So there we could see that they play more their game. Yeah. Um, very congr congratulations to the um, uh, Colombian team and also to the Swiss team. Because uh, they, yeah, amazing, they um, defended quite uh, quite good and really they good tried job. to attack and they had their chances. And uh, after the first half, I wasn't yet sure who is going to win this game. Uh, but uh, the Colombians really woke up and went forward and pushed into uh, the defense and scored. Oh, these are tired Swiss players. Uh, so let me see. Now it's coming up. Next game, it is uh, Emelina. Uh, the Finnish team against Firenze, the male team. It's so the first game for Firenze from Italy here in the Champions Cup 2019. And it's going to be a tough game uh, because uh, Hemelin... Uh so, Hemelin zu Keltajat. I learned to Keltajat because of the challenge last year. So we need to do another challenge, maybe to Turkish, I said, this year. So that we learn a language every year. AKA so please pay attention. No. Four, Yussi Martila. Six, Janne uh, Piquelisto. Uh, seven, Riku Rikonen. Eight, uh, Marco Engda. Nine, Yari Ovikorpi. Ten, Rami Rikonen. Twelve, Janne Salonen. Thirteen, uh, Anti Salonen. Fourteen, Heiki Luko. Twenty-three, Viktor Krilov. Thirty-three, Alexei Priatsnikov. 60, Yuri Boyko, 66, Kai Bjork, 79, Akuluko, 95, Antiviatera. So we have apparently two Lukos, <laughs> two Salonen, two Rikonen, so all family. And um, I would like to, while I'm now naming the other uh, uh, team, I would like to know what, what does it mean, Hemelinen? Can someone translate that? And let's see, Firenze, what is Firenze? Let me just jump in for a second. Weidland uh, said in the livestream chat, can we, uh, if uh, we den Ton checken können, kannst du definieren, was wir checken sollen? Is it the Lautstärke? Is it uh, Störgeräusche? We want a bisschen more background, damit ich zu den Technikern gehen kann and sagen kann, was genau nicht stimmt. Thank you sehr. So, and si. the Turkish team. So now we have Firenze. Firenze oh. is number two, Gabriele Chiani. 7. Ferdinando Scarano 12. Ludovico Vacelli 21. Mattia Garafa 23. Samuele Mosci 25. Andrea Meneghin 26. Umberto Vacelli uh, Two Vacelli Theatre 41. Antonio Lovaido 69. Andrea Pagni 77. Simone Pazzi So, you know I'm missing the uh, hymn the, 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 the Italian uh, hymn song uh, they were singing in cards. It was really beautiful. Everybody was stopping and uh, uh, enjoying it when they were singing it. I uh, really have to admit it was very nice. You, totally true. Okay, high volume of your voices is still very low. Okay, thank you. I will uh, we'll check that. Okay, so we're waiting now a few minutes. The game is supposed to start at 6.30. So it's one and a half minutes from now. I'm checking the chart. We see the Finnish players on this side of the pool. I'm alone here. <laughs> uh, if you have questions or want to share, wh what about the Finnish uh, fans are all here watching the game? What about uh, Firenze? Eh? There's Italians watching as well. We have 115 viewers so far. And volume of your voices is very low. Oh, Patricia, thank you. We both want to check that out. Um, I don't know. Hello. Uh, hello. 
there? Is it better now? Yeah, the 